quickly show you how to test a ferro cell on an oil boiler. They're really, really easy to test and it's probably one of the most common faults you can come across. All you do is put your multimeter onto ohms and you've got to be a bit careful on these not to bend your pins. I've actually adapted my leads a little bit. But all you do is obviously we're getting a circuit there because it's seeing the light and then if we cover that we'll get zero. Open it back up again we'll get a circuit. That's, that's all a photo cell does, it's all it does is read in the light. So obviously that will allow the boilers fire, that won't. So obviously if you've got a, fo a faulty photo cell, if I can get my words out, it's not going to allow the boiler to fire. What can also happen, sometimes these can send a false positive, if that makes sense, to the control box. So it will be showing a circuit even, even when it's not. So sometimes that will send you, depending on which control box you've got, that will send it that will send it to lock out as well. So that's one of the simplest things you can check on an oil boiler. If you did discover your photo cell was faulty, they're dead easy to change. All you do on these ones, they just pull straight out. And then straight out your control box, and then you can change it like for like. Generally, you route your cable underneath so you can get the red cover back on. But obviously this one is just an old burner I found down the yard. But generally they just pull out, he says pull out and then you can change it like for like. I'll just show you inside this burner. So to access this photo cell, you just undo that one Allen bolt that comes off and then your photo cell is inside here. So this one's a fairly modern one, it's on a clip. So you test it in exactly the same way. I don't know if I'll be able to release that one handed. Can you do it? Yeah, so drop that. So just your two pins on there onto your multimeter, testing, testing on ohms. For resistance across your circuit and then to be fair this one's a fairly modern one some of the older ones have got just the two leads coming off the back and if you needed to convert that you obviously get your plate and your lead but you just go into your control box trace your wire back and it's just the ones on the far left on this so dead easy to swap so don't be worried if, if your photo cells look slightly different they do a short version of this and a longer one but they're all pretty much Obviously change short for short and long for long because obviously it's the depth of your light so it sees the flame. But say some of the older ones, I'll see if I've got one quickly on one of these old burners and I'll show you what they look like. I found one of these. Um, these old Rayolo burners, the ones with the grey control box, the photo cell actually sits on the back of the burner. So these just pull forward and then the access, obviously your electrodes sit on there and that's your photo cell on these. So that, that just pulls off, he says. Uh, and then you can test that in exactly the same way. Obviously, it's a little bit different looking, but it'll do exactly the same job. So, again, to change that, obviously, all you do is slide it back on. But yeah, that's just a different one again. As I said, there's a few different ones, they all look slightly different. Obviously, we've got your Rayello one, you've got them ones on them, they're quite common. And uh, so, there's a few different ones, but you test them all in exactly the same way.